Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. It's Thursday afternoon now actually. It's just coming up to one o'clock. And I am knitting. I'm onto the second sleeve on the little rain raindrop cardigan. Show. pieces there's the back one of the fronts the other front this is pattern it curls in that way because the pattern's on the what you would normally call the wrong side Actually, you get a kind of pattern when you look at it. There's a kind of pattern on the um, the right side as well. Some people like that side, but I prefer this on that side. And that's the sleeve. So I'm doing a little bit more of the tutorial, showing how to do the sleeve because I've knitted one sleeve. And then I'll do the tutorial part for the second sleeve uh, because I've worked it all out for number of stitches I have to do and how many increases and how many decreases and all that. And I managed to do that. I even managed to trim my own hair this morning. I'm a jack of all trades, you know. I've trimmed it. You can see it's a bit short. It was down here before. I've took about that much off because it was all like split ends and braggy like rat's tails. And at least when when I trim it, I get some of my waves back in again. <laughs> the waves seem to disappear the longer it gets. But anyway, and I trimmed a tiny little bit off my fringe because or what fringe I have left because it's got so thin I keep it trimmed every so often because it makes it look a little bit thicker but I'll be seeing my granddaughter on Sunday and I'll get her to check the the back and make sure I've got it straight but I'll still be tying it up when I go out I like it long enough to tie up I don't bother about wearing my hair down did when I was younger, but not now. It looks better when it's tied up. Anyway, I'm doing what I can. Of this part of the um, the card again, and then I'll have to get on to the, the little blue one and get a bit more of the tu tutorial done for that. But I have finished the pom-pom blanket and I've made a little video just to show you, put it on my floor and I put Sammy on so you can see how big it is with Sammy. Because Sammy is, he's not quite a new baby size, he's just a little bit smaller. I think he's in between newborn and premature, going by the size of the clothes that I've um, knit for him. He's not quite a very small premature baby, he's sort of... In between so that gives you an idea the size of the blanket so I'm going to stop this video and then start it again well that's the pom-pom blanket finished just need to get rid of those that little end where I cast off the stitches and I put little Sammy on just to give you an idea of the size because he's the size of a not quite a, um, a newborn size, a little bit smaller. So that's one finished, one more to do. So that's the pom pom blanket finished for everyone that wanted to see what it looked like. I just had that one little end to sort of work in to get rid of the, um, the little pom poms that was left on the, um, the end. And I had, that was how much I had left when I finished it. 
I was continually knitting until it was completely finished. And with this stuff, you don't have to play chicken and wonder whether you're going to have enough because when I was knitting it across, I counted there was 33 pom-poms all the way across. So I counted out When you cast off, you need double that, the pom-poms, because you use one pom-pom for every stitch, because there's two stitches between pom-poms. So I needed 66 pom-poms, so I counted 66 pom-poms, and then counted how many was left after that. And after the 66, I could get one more row done. So I did one more row and then cast off, and that's what was left, because it wasn't enough to do another row, because it's not... 33 pom-poms there. Eh? So that's good. You With this stuff, you don't play chicken. You can count exactly how much you're going to have left to finish something. So that's one blanket ready to go to the United States. So I do have another one for um, Dagri, and I have started one. And you wouldn't believe the stuff I've got on this settee on this side of me. Yeah, stuff is piled up. On that side, stuff is piled up. You know, when I was younger and my husband was alive, he used to sit on the set day next to me and he used to complain about my knitting needles hitting him when I was knitting. So he got chased over to one of the chairs and I've always had the set day to myself ever since the kids left home. And I chased my husband over to a, um, a chair by himself. <laughs> he said, sometimes I don't know why I live here. <laughs> But anyway, this is a little bit of information for anyone knitting with this stuff. This is the second one I'm doing for Dagri. This one will be going to the United States as well. Well, I started this last night, not this bit here. I started a little bit, you know, with this stuff. I've never knit with it before, and I don't know how on earth people knit with it. I tried to do a little swatch. Last night, after I had finished the, um, well, it was just afternoon after I had finished the, the pom-pom blanket, I tried to do a little swatch. I put about 20 stitches on. I just put it on the needles. I'm, I'm using 8 millimeter, But the, um, the ball band actually said 5.5 millimeter. Now, I tried it on 5.5 millimeter. I cast on the stitches. And it was far too thick. I just didn't like it on five. So I tried it on six. I've done a couple of rows on six. A couple of rows on six and a half. A couple of rows on seven. And I ended up with the eight millimetre. But when I first cast those stitches on, for to do the, um, the swatch, I had an awful job. Just trying to knit them. Trying to, um, to stitch them. When I... When I'm knitting anything, I've got things on the end, but I always have the wool wrapped around my finger like that. That's for the tension, to keep the tension right on my knitting. And when I was trying to cast on, it was just pulling it tight. And with that, it wasn't moving through my fingers like it normally does, like wool. And it was just pulling it tight. And when I tried to knit the first row, I had an awful job. I couldn't get the needle through the stitches. I was having to force it through. But after I managed to, to knit the first row and then do the um, one or two more rows to check the different um, size needles and that, it was a little bit easier. But I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like just what it, you know, the trouble I was going to have knitting it and that. So anyway, this was last night. I picked it up last night, about an hour before I went to bed. Had another go and I didn't like it. So I started doing this one. This is one of my baby blanket patterns, which I was going to do the three by three. I thought I'm going to do this one and I'm knitting. This is all the stuff I've got piled up on the settee here. I'm doing this yellow in the white. I'm knitting those two strands together. And I thought, well, 
it's nice the colors you know come together nice so i thought i'll do the three by three pattern on my own knitting pattern this one here do the that's the one in the um in the background that the doll is lying on so i'll do that one so i cast on um i think it's 95 stitches i check the pattern the basket stitch yes 95 stitches so i cast on the 95 stitches and i've done the i think i've done the six two four six i've done the six rows of the um the bottom part of the um the blanket i thought it's going to be that one i said i'm not knitting that horrible stuff but anyway that was last night that was as much as i'd done before i went to bed I didn't do any of my own last night so anyway i put that down so i started this morning instead of doing the little things this morning i'm going to have another go of this stuff it was an awful job casting on the stitches because i've got i wasn't sure i was trying to measure it as i cast the stitches on i was holding it up against this bit here for the the width and I got the 95 stitches, what I had on there, and it just didn't look as long as that. So I thought, oh, I'm going to add some more stitches. So I cast on up to 110. I've got 110 stitches on there. Awful job doing the first row. But I discovered something. What was causing a lot of the problems was when I knit, like I'm saying, I hold my wool like that. There's a tension that keeps it. It slides nicely along my fingers, but this stuff doesn't work like that. So when I cast it on, when I cast the stitches on, I was doing it like that at first and it was just pulling. It wasn't working out the way it normally does when I cast on. So I stopped holding that. So I just started holding the wool like that and casting on like that. And it worked a lot better because it wasn't pulling the stitch as you were casting it on. And the same when I knit the first row, because I had an awful lot of trouble when I tried it before knitting the, the first row. It's just the first row. And so I knit that exactly the same without putting any tension on like that. I just held it like that. And and I've done, I don't know, couldn't tell you how many rows I've done with this stuff. You cannot see. <laughs> you cannot see the rows. But it is a lot better because it's, you can probably you can't probably see but um there's a lot more space between the stitches so it makes it a little bit better i would say anyway i've done a few rows i've done about one i'm just knitting garter stitch there's no way you can do a pattern um on this but after i've done a few more rows and i put the um the, the stoppers on the end of the needles to stop it coming out i stretched it right across and measured it against that one which that one is going to measure about 30 inches this one's going to measure about 36 i didn't need those extra stitches but i thought hey it doesn't matter i've got four balls of it i'm just going to keep knitting until it's gone and this will be the second one for um Dagri, the lady in the united states and this is my very last order i am not doing any more orders for anyone i am only going to knit things to sell well, I'll be knitting things to make my own patterns and I'll be selling the things that I knit. But I'm not doing any more orders because I don't want to be stuck like I was last year with just knit, knit, knit all day and all night. I want to knit when I want to knit and stop when I want to stop. And that's so this will be the very last order because I did have this before Christmas from Dagri. But I did promise her I would do this. In fact, actually, I think I promised her I would do something else for herself as well. But anyway, I sorted that out. And after I got past that cast on row and the knit row, it's a lot easier to um, knit. But I would never use this for anything else but blankets. Make a nice blanket. It is nice when it's the feel of it and that. So that's what I've been doing with that and how I'm going to get back to this and I will be going to my bingo tonight so with a bit of luck 
me and my friend might win again <laughs> and we might not win again it's just just saying it is it's just the look of the thing isn't it so anyway that's it give a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you all another time so bye for now